hi welcome to my channel my name is joanne i'm excited to host you here today so today i'll be showing you how to crochet for an absolute beginner meaning we're going to handle the basics from scratch and today's video i'll be shedding some light on the types of tools that you need to kickstart your crocheting journey the type of stitches that you need to know as a beginner uh, the stitch terminologies uh, we have the american and uk or australian uh, crochet stitch terminologies i'll be showing you guys how to hold your hook and of course the type of yarn or the type of hook size that you need to use as a beginner so i'll be doing this video in three part series but in today's lesson i'll majorly focus on how to make a slip knot how to make chain stitches how to single crochet and then uh, in the next two tutorials we are going to start progressing on different type of stitches that you must know as a beginner so make sure you join the family kindly subscribe and uh, also let's interact on the comment section down below and uh, let's get started so you need the following materials hooks uh, there are different types of hooks in the market from made from different materials in different sizes for a beginner i recommend that you use a four millimeter crochet hook for a start you also need a darning needle uh, to weave in your ends you can use the big one for a chunky yarn or a small needle for a lace yarn or a thin yarn you also need a stitch marker to help you trace your stitches or if you don't have a stitch marker you can actually use uh, a string you need scissors to cut off your ends and of course tape measure to help you in sizing you also need yarns and there are different types of yarns in the market depending on the size for instance that's a lace yarn uh, that's a multicolored yarn and this is a chunky yarn meant for scarf or something warm and I recommend you, you can either use a chunky yarn or this medium weight yarn or double knit and we can use this also that tiny yarn so for a start I recommend a double knit yarn which is a medium weight yarn to prepare your yarn you can either use the inner yarn that's coming through the ball the inside part of it or you can use the outer part to make a slip knot grab your yarn this is the end part of it uh, wrap it on your finger like that pull it over like that and then drop it and insert it and pull it like that and you have a slip knot we also have a second option uh, take your yarn put the longer tail on top of the shorter tail insert your finger inside grab the longer tail and pull it like that so you have your slip knot how to hold your yarn so before you crochet it's important to know where to position your yarn and uh, your fingers so you are supposed to wrap the longer tail of the yarn on your finger and then place your thumb and your middle finger here and then grab your hook and then we're going to start crocheting to make chain stitches you're going to yarn over, insert through the loop. Make sure the loop is not tight. So yarn over again, insert, pull through the loop. Yarn over again, pull through the loop. Keep on adjusting your fingers. As the string or as the chains gets longer, keep on moving your finger to the closer one towards the hook. So continue yarning over 
and pulling through the loop. This finger is the one that is going to help you adjust your yarn tension. So you can just keep on dropping it and then yarning over, pull through the loop. Make sure that the loop here is not loose because if it's loose like that, it's going to give you a hard time crocheting. How to hold your hook. So there are two different positions of holding your hook. Number one is the pencil position. You hold it like the normal way you'd hold a pen or a pencil to write. So yarn over, insert through your hook. Yarn over, insert through your hook. The second position is the knife. So you hold your hook like this. So you yarn over and pull through the hook. Yarn over, pull through the hook. So continue practicing the chain stitches using the position that's most comfortable for you. So let's learn how to single crochet. You already have your chain stitches, but before we go straight into the tutorial of learning how to single crochet, it's important to note that we have two stitches terminologies. The UK stroke, the Australian uh, crochet terminologies and the American. So in this video, I'm going to use the American stitch terminology. So for instance, chain stitches in American is the same as chain stitches in UK. And single crochet in American is double crochet in UK. And double crochet in American is treble crochet in UK. So I'm just going to attach the terminology inside the video so that you can start familiarizing yourself with them. So to single crochet, uh, you are going to insert, uh, you're going to insert your hook into the second chain from the hook insert your hook yarn over pull through the loop you have two loops and then yarn over pull through the two loops together so let's repeat that again insert your hook inside the loop yarn over pull through the loop yarn over pull through the two loops insert your hook Yarn over, pull through the loop, yarn over, pull through the two loops together. So continue doing that until the end and then I'll show you how to turn your work and start building on your crocheting piece, your single crochet piece I mean. So here we are. So the next row, you are going to chain one and turn your work around. So the chain one already acts as your first single crochet. So you're not going to single crochet over here because that would mean that you're going to start increasing your work while we are supposed to maintain our edges in a straight line. So skip this because the single crochet, uh, the chain stitch that you've made is already a stitch. So single crochet on to the next one. And then single crochet in each and every stitch until you get to your other end. So once you get to your other end again, chain one, uh, repeat the process until you get, keep on practicing. Uh, it might not be perfect uh, at a first try, but keep on building up your crochet, single crochet piece. And um, I'm sure you're going to get better with time. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, kindly subscribe and comment down below if you found it useful. And also uh, hit the notification bell so that each time I post a video, you're going to get notified. And also I'll be extending this tutorial uh, in the second tutorial and also the third tutorial which is going to be the final part on it so until next time goodbye
you should be having something like this.